The heart is composed mainly of two different types of tissue, the contractile cells and the conducting cells. Contractile cells make up the majority of the atrial and ventricular tissues and are responsible for the working cells of the heart. The action potentials or electricity that pass through these cells lead to the generation of force and pressure in order to contract and inject blood from the heart. Conducting cells make up the tissues of the SA node, the atrial internodal tracts, the AV node, the bundle of Hiss, and the Purkinje system. These cells are specialized muscle cells which do not contribute significantly to the generation of force and injection of blood from the heart. Instead, these cells function to spread action potentials over the entire myocardium. Another feature that these cells have is that they generate action potentials spontaneously. In other words, these cells are responsible for the rhythmic beating of the heart. In a normal healthy heart, action potentials are initiated in the specialized tissue of the SA node, which serve as the pacemaker. After the action potentials are initiated in the SA node, they spread from the SA node to the right and left atria through the atrial internodal tracts. Simultaneously, these action potentials are conducted to the AV node. Conduction velocity through the AV node is slower than it is in other cardiac tissues. The slow conduction through the AV node makes sure that the ventricles have sufficient time to fill with blood before they are activated and contract and eject blood from the heart. If you increase conduction velocity through the AV node, it could lead to decreased cardiac filling and decreased stroke volume and cardiac output. From the AV node, the action potentials enter the specialized conducting system of the ventricles. The action potentials first go through the bundle of Hiss. From the bundle of Hiss, they go down to the left and right bundle branches, and then to smaller bundles of the Purkinje system. Conduction through the Hiss Purkinje system is extremely fast, and it is this rapid conduction of the action potentials through the ventricles that is essential and allows for efficient contraction and ejection of blood. In a normal, non-pathologic heart, it beats in what we call normal sinus rhythm. In order to qualify for this type of rhythm, there needs to be three criteria that must be met. Number one, the action potential must originate in the SA node. Number two, the SA node impulses must occur regularly from rates between 60 to 100 beats per minute. And number three, the activation of the myocardium must occur in the correct sequence with the correct timing and delays. Or in summary, the heart needs to beat from SA node down the atrial internodal tracts to the AV node. From the AV node, impulses must go down the bundle of Hiss, down to the right and left bundle branches, down to the Purkinje fibers.